when we meet again. So today I wanted to talk about um, some more Mandela effects. And if you know me for a little bit, you'll know that- <laughs> why am I keep on readjusting my hair and a hat? If you know me just a little bit, you'll know that I love conspiracy theories so much, it's in my bio. And you know, the list of the little Mandela effects I've found throughout life have grown a little bit. To the point where I keep a list on my iPad. So every time I meet a new friend, the first thing I tell them about is the Mandela effect. And I have to show them the big list. Keep in mind, I did not find these personally. Um, some I found from other YouTubers, Tana Mojo, Shane Dawson. But you know, sometimes I just gotta educate my younglings, or whatever I call you guys. Little potatoes, I'll call you little potatoes. Here are some Christmas Mandela effects, plus others. The first one is a very good song that's near my heart, or what is it called? Near in my heart? Dag the Halls. You may remember that song going a little bit like Deck the Halls with Bows of Holly. Fa la 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 la. But after going to Wikipedia and going to the original lyrics, it turns out that Deck the Halls is now Deck the Hall. You know how in your house you have many halls? Well, if you were to sing the song, you would have to only decorate one hall. Apparently, they don't want you to decorate more than one. It, you, they just allow only the hall. I mean, I'm, I don't know adults' logic, so I'm gonna say that's bullshit. The other very near Christmas song deep in my heart are the 12 Days of Christmas. And that song lasts around 15 minutes, so I'm not gonna sing all of it, and I'm not gonna sing anyways. But the first lyric is, On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. And I remember gave to me. My friends remember the lyric gave to me. I think you know that it's gave to me. But it's not. Um, it's sent to me. And I looked at the lyrics once again on Wikipedia, and it says sent to me. So, like, the fuck? Um, yeah. So that's fine. The next Mandela effect is the three little pigs. Three little pigs. Three little oink oinks. And it was a very good book. I loved it when I was a child. I still love it to this day. But I don't like how it says, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Because I don't remember it being called in. I remember I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Because the wolf was gonna down the house. You know, when you're trying to destroy a little piggy's house and eat them for dinner or lunch, I don't know which one he wanted, I would assume that you want to blow the house down, not inwards, because you want the pig to be alive. Right? And plus, I don't think we know what the phrase, I'll blow your house in, actually means. Because no one uses it. Um, here's another good song, Barbie Girl. I used to sing when I was little, because I probably played with Barbies, but I don't remember anything from my childhood, okay? So, I remember it being, um, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. But no, you go to the original music video, and it says, I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. If you want to be my friend, and I hear you sing that lyric, even one time, jokingly, I will end you. Another childhood toy that I like to play with, but now I look at it like it's a, some sort of creepy ass machine, is Thomas the Train. You know, he's a blue train with a face, which makes sense. And he did choo-choo around like a railroad. But I don't remember it being called Thomas the Tank Engine, because I don't think little kids know what a tank engine is. To me, if I heard tank engine, I would assume you're taking the engine of a tank, if there even is an engine in the tank, and you're gonna put it on a fucking train. So a cereal that I used to eat a lot is called Captain Crunch, and I remember eating it a lot. I remember eating a Frosted Flakes, I remember eating Cocoa Puffs, but I don't remember Captain Crunch being named Captain Crunch, and I, I just don't know. Maybe when I was a child, I was partially blind. I mean, my dad needs glasses, so I guess I need glasses. Because I don't think Cap'n Crunch even looks remotely sane. Um, another candy that I ate as a child were, were Pixie Sticks. You know, Pixies. Like, P-I-X-I-E, because that's what they were called, and that's how you spell them. But no, I guess the company decided to not do Pixie I-E and change it to Pixie P-I-X-Y. And my question to them is why? Just why? Why have a why? Why, why, who, well, when, where, how, why? I want you to know that the worst feeling you get as a YouTuber is when you're editing and 
you accidentally delete a video file that is half of the content you recorded. So, you have to re-record. So another Mandela effect that I always remembered was Rubik's Cube. And I always had this friend who knew how to solve them like under a minute. And I always was so shocked and amazed at her. She such talent. And then she had these other Rubik's Cubes that had like, they were like tetrahedrons and triangles and pyramids. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so dumb. But you know, I'm pretty sure she and I and most of the people in the world, they remember a Rubik's Cube with an X at the end. And not K apostrophe S. Makes you want a KMS card. If you know what that means, don't search it up. You know, I understand that Rubik is the owner or the person who invented the Rubik's Cube, but who the fuck names their child Rubik? I mean, just think about that for a second. <laughs> Name one person you know who has Rubik somewhere in their name. And lastly, uh, hopefully, I probably missed like 10 other Mandela effects because I don't remember what I was recording. But this is the most triggering one of all and the biggest one that affects everyone. Kit Kat bars. You know, the little wafers that have milk chocolate around them and they're so delicious, but you feel terrible about yourself once you eat them. In like Japan, there's like green tea Kit Kat bars, which are apparently good, but I'm never gonna try them because that they're green. But I'm pretty sure everyone remembers it as Kit Dash Cat. You know, the little hyphen in between. But if you look at your Kit Kat bars today, there it's just Kit Kat. You know, one word apparently. I dare you to go get that Kit Kat bar and say it to my face. That you remember it as one word. Say it to my face. Try it. Try. I want you to try. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I'm in a very pissy mood still because I'm almost done editing, you know, I have to do this, and this is, this is, this whole video is happening in one day. I recorded, I'm recording at 9, it's 11 now, because I was editing, and I have to upload this by, like, well, probably 2 o'clock. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below about some Mandela effects that you remember, or agree and disagree to me, and better to subscribe because I post videos every Saturday. I love you guys, and everything is less than 3.